so we're finally after Thanksgiving and it's time to decorate for Christmas. I got my little boys down for a nap so I had to be a little quiet. So we actually decorated for Christmas the day before Thanksgiving, which is really crazy. But in my defense, my husband goes back to work on Thursdays and it was a really nice day the day before Thanksgiving here. So he wanted to go ahead and get the Christmas lights out on the outside and I was just going to have him get the tree down. I was going to just set the tree up and not decorate anything because we have all of our totes in the garage and usually every year he's at work and I have to climb on the ladder and kill myself getting all of these Christmas totes down all by myself because I'm just too excited and I want to go ahead and decorate. But this year I actually asked him to help me get all the heavy stuff down. That way I didn't have to break my back. And one thing led to another and I just ended up decorating everything the day before Thanksgiving while he was working on the lights outside. So our house is actually kind of tiny. Um, you wouldn't think so by looking at the square footage, but we actually have two of the kids' bedrooms upstairs and a bathroom. And then downstairs is just a bedroom and then we have a small kitchen combined dining room and then a living room and then our laundry room is actually pretty big but we actually don't have a whole lot of room in our kitchen and dining room and I don't have anywhere to put furniture so I have a buffet and I have a hutch that I have in my living room so it looks like there's a lot of furniture in my living room right now but we're hoping one day in the future not anytime soon that we're gonna hopefully maybe build on a living room and then the room that I'm standing in right now will become the dining room so I will have some space to put some of this furniture that actually goes into a dining room but for now it's really cozy I have a lot of furniture in here and I actually rearranged um, before I was going to decorate for Christmas because I had nowhere to put our Christmas tree this year. So I took the time and just started rearranging and I vacuumed and dusted all the baseboards and just really did a really deep clean while I was trying to figure out where I wanted the Christmas tree this year. And I was so happy that I actually have the Christmas tree in front of our bay window this year. And I absolutely love when people do that. They put, when they put their trees in front of the window where it can shine on the outside and everyone can see it, which we live way out in the country. Nobody can really see our house. We live far enough off the road and it's only really family that comes over here. And you can see our house a little bit with the road, um, but it's we have a really long driveway, so nobody really ever comes up and sees our house, but we do put on uh, Christmas lights on the outside. So we do actually live on a really big hill. So on the side of our house, my husband likes to line up our Christmas lights outside on the peaks of our house. We have two peaks on our house, and when you're coming down, this hill on this main road that you drive, um, people can see our house lit up in Christmas lights. So it's really actually magical, it looks really good, but we're far enough off the road that really no one can really see close up, but they can see the outside lights because we use LED lights and we have these icicle lights that twinkle and of course they're the LED lights too. So we have like a main strip of just colored LED lights along with icicle lights that are LED and I think they're like the cool lights and they twinkle so people can actually see that when they come down and up the hill when, where we live. So no matter if we live way out in the country in the middle of nowhere I still just love to decorate the outside and the inside. I still actually need to go hang down our big wreaths on our entryway whenever you come into our driveway. So that's probably one of the things that I still have to do. And we like to go out in the woods every year and cut down a cedar tree, like a small, I say small, but it's usually taller than me. I always tell my husband to cut a small cedar tree, but it ends up being huge. 
And we always take that cedar tree and we put it on the front porch and I let the kids um, put lights on it. And I think last year they actually put a few ornaments on it. So that's kind of like a family tradition that we do every year is we just go find us a Christmas tree out in the woods and just put it on the front porch. Now I would love to have a real Christmas tree inside, but I have seasonal allergies. So I kind of just steer away from having a real tree in our house and this the risk of a fire hazard. Basically that's just um, the two things that I still need to do, but for the most part, I'm done decorating finally. I actually made a video before this, but I wasn't fully done decorating, so I deleted everything, and I wanted to make sure I was completely done decorating so I can make this video and just show what everything looks like. So I'm just gonna turn you guys around and we're just gonna do a little Christmas tour of how I decorated this year and it's really cozy and I hope you guys really enjoy looking at everything and I'll try to explain like where I got things and, and what they are. So um, I'll turn you around and we'll get started. Okay, so this is where you walk in, the front door. So you kind of have like a little bit of area right here in between the staircase and the front door. And then over here on the left side is my kitchen and dining room. And then this is the living room over here. It's kind of a small rectangle. But I'm gonna show you guys over here on the hutch. This is where I'm gonna get started and showing. So I ended up getting a song book at an antique store and it was really cheap. I think it was like $3 for this song book. And I just turned it to a Christmas song. And I usually have this candle right here but this page keeps wanting to move. But I just have this on a um, cookbook holder that was in my kitchen. So I just put it here on this hutch displaying the song and then looking up here is my nativity scene and I love this nativity scene it's one of my favorite things that I have of my Christmas decor I actually got this at a online garage sale long time ago it's probably been six years ago and back then it was actually pretty expensive for an online yard sale item in my opinion and this guy over here actually his head was broke off and she was still trying to sell it so I asked if she would come down a little bit and she did but it was still kind of pricey um, but I ended up buying it because I absolutely loved it I think this is home interior if I can remember what the box looked like whenever I got it from her. So this year I actually had to fix this guy's hand and one of the antlers off of uh, this cow broke off. I had a tub fall in the garage and it broke a few of my stuff so I just got some Gorilla Glue and glued everything back together. So. It looks good as new again. I just absolutely love this nativity scene. So I got this um, greenery and some pine cones and just stuck it in there and I got it from Hobby Lobby and I just weaved in some battery operated warm lights. So looking up at the top, I have a picture that shows, Oh, come let us adore him. I think I got it at Michael's a couple years ago. And it looks really rustic. It's white and it has like gold lettering. And I took some greenery up here with some deer antlers and we did some warm lights. So you can kind of see what all it looks like here. 
just wanted to keep it simple and I wanted the main focus to really be the nativity scene in the living room. And then looking over here, I just have a small little Christmas tree with some bells. I believe they're from Hobby Lobby. Now I just put it into like an old um, galvanized bucket and this is a potato sack that I have wrapped inside. Just something very simple for the corner. And then looking down here, I have these ceramic Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. And this is actually a rug that my grandmother crocheted not that long ago. And it just looks like a Christmas color, so I just put them here with my ceramic uh, Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. My aunt actually ended up giving me this set a couple years ago. She actually has the ex exact same set. I think that was my mammals and papas. And she knew I loved it so much. So she found this and bought this for me one year. And I, they're absolutely heavy. And I just love them. So I just set these in front of my TV. So looking up here. This is above my TV, and I have these galvanized planters on the wall, and this metal sign says it's the most wonderful time of year, and the greenery with pine cones, I think those are from Hobby Lobby, and the sign, I think it's from Antique Farmhouse, but I'm not, I can't really remember, I would have to look that back up. I'm pretty sure it's from Antique Farmhouse. And then looking over here, I got this vintage candy cane I always put out every year. And it's on my milk bucket. And I got a Christmas little pillow from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. So then looking behind the couch here, so I catty cornered this buffet that I have. And I try to keep it as simple as possible. I have these two plug-in trees that I got years and years ago. And honestly, I can't believe they're still working. <laughs> but there's a few bulbs that I need to replace. And then I got some greenery with some battery operated lights that are just strung through it and these reindeer that I got at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago and then these candlesticks I find these candlesticks at an antique store they're like a brass color brassy gold and then these battery operated candles that I put in them so you can kind of see over here what these trees look like. Let me see if I can open up the wind curtain here. So you can kind of see it has like these brown little twigs coming out of it and a little bit of green. I really like those trees. It's kind of hard to see in this dark house, but. So every year we like to put Santa Claus hats on our deer heads that we have on the walls and we really just need three more uh, Santa's reindeer in the future to finish out all of his all the reindeer names but let me turn you around here so we got one there and one way over there. And there's one right there. And then one more right here. Here, of course, the little deer. That was my first deer years and years ago that we mounted. And we call him Rudolph because he's the smallest one out of all these deer. And this is my other deer head. 
I keep my two little deer heads over here in the corner and the rest are my husband's deer. And then before I show the tree, I'm gonna go over here to this corner and look at this pie safe. This is actually my most favorite piece of furniture that I have in the house. This was actually my great-grandparents pie safe. It used to sit on their back porch of their farmhouse. And I just have like a wreath with some antlers that I tied up in there with some rustic bells. And then on the top is a picnic basket with some old um, antique candy canes with some berries. And then I just put my vintage crock bowls up there and I actually use those all the time so I really needed to put them somewhere um, or I could use them still so this was the perfect spot and the only spot I had to store them and then on the left side here these are all the quilts and um, blankets that my grandmother has made and I just have a little crock down here with a Christmas tree and this windmill actually used to hang on the wall behind this pie safe and I just set it there and then I got my grandmother's doilies that she's made up top so you can kind of just see and she's crocheted that blanket and so I kind of just display all her stuff in this corner but I really like how this all turned out super cute. Let me get a close up of this pie safe so you guys can see see that design and just the paint color and how like chippy it is. I just love it. Okay, so looking at the Christmas tree, now my Christmas tree has all of my kids' pictures all over it, some crafts that they made over the years, and that's how my Christmas tree is going to look every single year because I love all of my kids on my tree and all the stuff that they have made, but I always put on some burlap ribbon and then next to it I have like this it's kind of like a rose gold or kind of like a goldish color ribbon attached to it and I start from the top of the tree and kind of just go down and I probably have four of these around the whole entire tree just kind of cascading down the tree and then I have these wood beads looping around the, all around the tree and then I have these white ornaments that I got from Walmart I think last year or the year before that they're just really cheap and they're all different um, styles and textures and I got these gold balls from Hobby Lobby and I just stuff them way into the tree to kind of fill up the tree but I got some farmhouse pictures there's a pig and I still need to put a picture in this one I actually got this this year and then my kids crafts there's one right there and another one and I got some grapevine ornaments with snow all over and on the front really has all of my kids' pictures and then some farmhouse ornaments you can kind of see and then me and my husband's very first ornament that we got when we first got together and married and then just kind of see there's our wedding ornament and then 
lots of stars, rusty stars. And I actually made these candy canes one year. I got a lot of these throughout the tree. And then here's another craft my one of my kids made. I do decorate the back side of my tree. And then here's a nativity scene. I actually have two more on the other side of the nativity scene. And there's a little barn. Here's another rusty star. But yeah, usually this is the same tree that I do every year. Here's another nativity scene. I think there's one right here. My grandmother actually gave me that one. And the craft from my kids. Another craft. I actually got this star on the very top at Walmart. I think it was last year. I used to have a really heavy gold star up there and one year it fell on my toe and it hurt so bad. So I ended up getting a different star and it's really lightweight so, we, so I don't have to worry about it falling off and hurting anybody anymore. So on the bottom here, I got this really rustic woven basket on the bottom. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby one year. So the cool thing about this tree, it has the white lights and then it can change to the colored lights that actually match outside. My kids like to keep it on the one that goes back and forth. But usually in the living room, I like to keep it with the warm white lights in here so everything kind of just matches but it could also do the color to match the outside so the kids like to keep it like that so we're just going to keep it on the one that rotates back and forth so over here this is where I hang the kids stockings on the rail I just have their initials on the stockings. One day I would like to somehow personalize this a little better. Maybe with some wood tags that actually have their names spelled out on them. And then I just tie this up with some burlap that I used on the tree. And then I have a Christmas quilt right here on the back of the main couch. Okay, so coming over here to the corner where I have this end table, I got this light up tree that my brother got me a couple years ago. And I just put it on some doilies that my grandma made. And then I have my kids' Christmas books. Um, I put those in the side here so they can get them out and look at them anytime they want to in the living room here. Let's see if I can get one out. So yeah, I just got all, the, not all the Christmas books, they don't all fit in here, but I'll change them out throughout the season. So I just kept it really simple right here. It's just nice and cozy, very simple. So now we're gonna head into the kitchen. I have a few things in the kitchen. I didn't put too much in here this year because I don't like my countertops being full of stuff because I'm always cooking and need the space since it is a small kitchen. 
but I do like to decorate on top of my refrigerator and so you can look over here we have a kind of like a bay window in the kitchen where the table sits and then over here we have a hutch that actually matches the kitchen cabinets so this year I have all my vintage Christmas in this cabinet Let me open it up here. So I took a little cubby and just filled it with all the little Christmas that I've been collecting over the years. I like vintage snowmans and vintage Santa Claus, any really thing vintage. I don't have too much stuff. Let me turn this on back here. This snow globe lights up and glitters and at night it'll light up the whole entire cabinet and it'll shine off some of this sparkle on this banner so this is just a little bit of things that i've been collecting let's see this my mother made this long time ago and then here's a ceramic santa claus that i had for a really long time and I think these elves are from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And then this little snowman cup is from Walmart last year. And I got these vintage tiny little mugs. And then another vintage mug back here. And a salt and pepper shaker. And here's a candy dish. And he actually has faces all the way around. I've had him for a really long time. And I have a music box back here. This is actually, I need to fix this. This is one of the things that broke the antler off this reindeer. And there's a sign that I got at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. A reindeer whistle the kids like to blow. And this banner with these ornaments are actually from Walmart last year. And then behind him is another snowman picture from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And then you can't really see on the back side of here, but I have like five of these. They look like books. They're from Walmart um, a couple years now that I've been collecting these and they open up where you can put some stuff inside of there. So I put some ornaments in there sometimes to keep them safe. And there's all different ones. You can see there's another vintage snowman. There's a Santa Claus one back in here. And then another Santa Claus. It's kind of blurry another Santa Claus and then another one just really liked those so I got those to keep some stuff stored in them and then this is the cookie plate for Santa Claus this is um, when we had our first uh, boy when he was a baby we did his footprint so we put the cookies on that every year for Santa I just really kept it simple this year. I didn't want to go overboard in my kitchen. And then my kids' craft I just put up here. So coming from the hutch and on top of my fridge, I have a sleigh. And it's full of two trees. And I like to have my vintage cookie cutters in the kitchen. So I just display them on these trees this year. And I have this wood snowflake that my mom got me one year with a vintage candy cane and then a rolling pin. I just kind of stuck everything in here. And then over here I have a tier of Santa mugs. I like to put hot chocolate inside of these for the kids to drink out of and I just keep them up here so they don't break. 
and I just have this pitcher. I had nowhere to put it, so I just put it there. But I just kept it really simple, nothing too crazy on top of the refrigerator this year. And then I have this night light. You can kind of see whenever it heats up, it bubbles some glitter up in the top. But I actually have the same uh, colored Christmas tree in the living room by the lamp. It's a lot bigger. I actually displayed, used to display them in this kitchen by each other, but I don't really have a whole lot of room in here. And really, this is glass, so this is the safest place to put this nightlight in the kitchen. So I let my kids have their own trees in their room, and this one is my daughter's little pink Christmas tree that has glitter all over it. She's had this for probably four years now, maybe a little longer. And we have a little dollhouse next to it. And we actually decorate this dollhouse um, in Christmas lights, and but I need to, I have another dollhouse over here that we um, restored. And we mainly actually been using this dollhouse to decorate for Christmas and the holidays, but this one I need to remodel. A lot of things are broken off, but we still need to decorate these dollhouses in Christmas. My daughter likes to get all the stuff out and decorate the house inside here. She has the cute little picture frames of Christmas, a Christmas tree. I sewed some stockings one year, like tiny little stockings for the fireplace. It's absolutely adorable. But she has a fur uh, tree skirt and she got to decorate her own tree. So everything on here is what she has decorated. And every year, we like to pick out one ornament for her. So she kind of just likes all the girly things. She loves unicorns and sparkly stuff. And ballerinas. So I just, really adorable. So here in the boys' room, I put theirs on the dresser just because there's three boys in here and it's just easier because they're always playing trucks and tractors and just tearing this room apart. So this is the safest place for this tree and I just kept it really simple, nothing too crazy, just a camouflage. I wrapped the bottom in a camouflage blanket and there's antlers and gone fishing. There's a chainsaw, a dog, tractors and trucks, and just all the boy things that you can think of. A pig. So I just, really simple. My mom actually crocheted this little stocking for them. So I'm sure as the years go on and they get bigger, we'll probably end up getting a bigger tree for them. But this works out perfectly for their room right now. So this is what the end of our driveway looks like. You can just see how far off our house is from the road. And I like to decorate these this entryway every year. 
just think it's so cute. Me and my husband put this entryway in when we first moved here. So it's a great way to decorate for the holidays since our house is so far away. Just so the people that drive by can see. And we did our scarecrow down here around Halloween. And on the 4th of July, I like to put down some flags on the fence. And I usually actually put battery operated lights in these wreaths, but I'm not going to do that this year just because batteries are so expensive and I had to replace them like three times last year. So I'm not going to do that this year. So it's just cute and festive for the end of the driveway for everyone to see when they drive by. So it's time to go out and get our Christmas tree, our family tradition. We're gonna go in the back of the woods and we're gonna find a cedar tree to put on our front porch. So you guys can just tag along with us. 